welcome to the Howie. My name is Donna Reynolds, and today we have two very special guests, whom are Rick Segietin and Bob Jones, who is the drug and alcohol worker of the Vernon Friendship Center. Rick, welcome. Hi, Donna. Uh, Rick, can you tell us a little bit about your last years of working with the uh, Okanagan Video and Klahowia Video Productions? Yes, um, well, was four and a half years ago when I was seconded to the Klahowia Video Production, which was owned by the Vernon Friendship Center and they had an economic development plan to get a video business going in Vernon, um, production business, so that they could, for a self-sufficiency program. And over the last few years, we've been acquiring equipment, uh, up, upgrading our um, present situation, studio situation here at the Friendship Center. And right now, we've got new management and freelancers working full-time at the uh, Klahaya Video Production, which is now called Okanagan Video Productions. And so my job is, we sort of reached our goal, and the Friendship Center has uh, seconded me back to, to working with the Friendship Center. So I'm now presently got a new, a new job description. What exactly does your new job description it, de, uh, entail? Okay, well, four and a half years ago, before I went in, on to working with the video production, I was fundraising. And I was involved with the bingos, casinos, and whatever types of small fundraising programs for the Friendship Center. And um, they've given me a, a goal this year to try to raise, not, maybe not this year, but just to work towards raising uh, funds for a new building. So that's my goal. Uh, what type of um, fundraising events have you thought you'd be holding soon? Okay. Um, you're presently doing the fundraising duties for the Friendship Center, so I'm going to be taking over some of those duties off from that you've got in your job description, which is the bingo, which is held at the hall in town here, and also the casino, which is we have two or three times a year. And of course, you've started a few other things like break opens, and, and Bertha has mentioned to me that she'd like to try to see us raffle off a, a used car, something like that. I think there's a lot of people like that idea, so. We're going to be trying a few different concepts so that we can uh, raise some money for us to get a new building. Uh, she said that we approximately need about $350,000. For a new building. To go towards a start of a new building. Mm -hmm. And the rest we're going to apply to funding sources to, to match our uh, sort of a big goal. So I'm kind of looking forward to the challenge. You said earlier that you were involved with the Okanagan video and Klahowia video. Mm -hmm. What type of shows did you do or productions? All right. Um, I was involved with mainly in the early stages as a producer, and uh, what I did was I got all the talent and all the the crew together and and uh, look for uh, contracts out there, not only in this community but all around British Columbia and and a lot of native organizations. Did you want me to name off you? Oh, sure. Sure. Uh, such as Round Lake and uh, the National Association of Friendship Centers, other treatment centers across British Columbia has given us contracts to do video productions for them. All sorts of different types, whether it's promotional, orientation. Um, it's, it was quite a bit of a, I did all sorts of jobs, whatever was needed to be done. Um, I also, about a year ago, was managing and also producing, but that found out very, very hard to keep up. And uh, now that we've got Kathleen Smith, uh, who's, who's now managing the business, that freed me up to go back to the Friendship Center. Uh, what other type of responsibilities will you be having as the Assistant Executive Director at the Friendship Center? Just um, talking it over with Bertha, she's mentioned that there's a few things that she's going to be go going over the board. I'm only in my second week of going back to the Friendship Center, and I must say it's really nice to be back and work with uh, the, the old staff, not old, but just the, <laughs> the staff that I've been working with in the past. And, uh, I think she's mentioned to me that I'm going to be taking a, a, a more active role again in the communications part of the Friendship Center movement, uh, being more involved with the television program, which I've missed, and uh, also being involved with the newsletters. And How many years formal or in the past have you been involved with the Klahowia Show? Before I was seconded to the video production company, I was involved with six years with the TV program. and. Uh, I, did, really I didn't realize it was so many years. <laughs> <laughs> it was, but it was a lot of fun. I know, I know we worked together, you know, with Donna's bottom line, and uh, and it was, you know, it, of course, the Kalaya has got had a few different hosts and hostesses in the in the past few years, and it's, what I'm going to try to do is try to work with the, the program director into meeting the needs of what the TV program 
Um, and it's going to be in the 90s, you know. So we're going to have to keep up with that time. So oh. maybe we could make some of those changes or additional changes. Uh, Rick, in the event that you are going to get involved with some of the more functions of the Friendship Center, where, if somebody wants to find you, find me, find you, <laughs> and see if you want to get involved with any of their type of programs, where can you be contacted at? Okay, well, I can be contacted at the Vernon Friendship Center at 542-1247, and my office is in the boardroom, and beside Donna's and Sinclair Theater. And, of course, uh, you come in and talk to me and about any ideas that you have about communications or fundraising ideas for the Friendship Center. I'd welcome those ideas. Thank you, Rick, for joining us.